Greetings, and welcome to One Way Heroics, a procedurally generated roguelike RPG, and I, uh, I just picked it up on Steam earlier today, it was like 87 cents, which is a pretty damn good price for a game. Uh, so basically, here's how it goes, and I've played a I've tried playing a couple of times, only a little bit. Didn't get very far, so... I haven't seen everything there is to see. Not to worry about that. So at the beginning, you get to... You know, set up a character. You get to put in a name, and... I guess we'll call ourselves Fire. That'll work. Nope, not that. We get to choose a class. Currently, there are only two classes available to us, a Swordmaster and a Knight. The Swordmaster uh, basically gets to hit more often, and you get Berserk, which is pretty neat. And then the Knight, which is the only one that I've actually used, you get to take less damage, and it's basically balanced for beginners. And they have sprites for male and female characters, which aren't too bad. Uh, I like the hair on that one, actually. Okay, we're gonna go with this one, because we can. Okay, so you can see all the stats that are changed between classes, and you can unlock classes in the future, but you have to do stuff for it. And then you can choose a bunch of perks, which will basically give a little bit of an extra upgrade to things, and I believe they stack on top of each other. I, I don't... I'm not sure there is a wizard class. There's a bard class, though, apparently. Uh, and a pirate, and a hero, and like a hunter with a bow. I'm not sure if there's any others. I don't actually know. I haven't looked too far into what's available in the game. They're all hidden away on stuff. Uh, so we're gonna, just going to have to see what we find. However, at the beginning we can't use a wizard class, unfortunately. It's just not, an, it's not, just not a possibility. So... We can add one level to our strength here, which makes our attack power go up by 20% and lets us carry a little bit more. We can add agility, and there's only three slots currently, but you can unlock more in the future. Agility lets you get more combo hits, and everything is faster. Vitality. You, basically, you earn a bit of life every hour in the game. Every in-game hour, which is like a certain amount of steps or whatever, I suppose, or moves. And you gain back a certain amount of HP every hour. This makes that higher and you get, you take less damage. Intellect, you get to identify stuff better, your stamina is decreased by five. Willpower, you get... Oh yeah, there's a force... There's a force power, uh... class, I guess. I don't know what it does, but apparently there's a thing that you can do with force power if you unlock it. Charisma, people like you, shop prices are lower. You get to get more people in a party, also. And then there's survivor, which gives you plus 30 days or plus 30 life at the beginning of the game, which I think is really cool, actually. So I'm going to go with strength. Uh, probably agility. And then... Either vitality or survivor. I think I'll go for Survivor for that extra HP. 
So, with all of this here, let's go! You get to choose dimensions to adventure in, and they're all randomly generated, so these are all seeds. So you can go back to ones where you died, you know, where you previously adventured in, and then you can choose dimensions, you can create a new random one. If you know a seed, you can manually input it in. And then there's these, which are multiplayer, essentially. So you can do a whole bunch of stuff with that. And then there's essential then there's like various like daily campaigns. For instance, this one, save Queen Frida in Dimension Blah. He's being held captive 50 kilometers from the start point. The guards are tough, so make sure to equip your finest weapons. Stumble through the dark. Shrouded in darkness, limiting your field of view. Weapon and armor have a 50% chance to carry bonus effects. Money really is everything. All that drops in this world is silver. The only NPCs to appear are merchants. You can't survive in this world without anything to buy shit in. I'm going to create a new random world. And there's two difficulty levels. There's Walk in the Park. 400 kilometers long, the Demon Lord appears. You don't get partners. And your weight limits are a little higher. Then there's Afternoon Troll, which is like normal mode. Uh, I am not looking for a challenge, so I'm going to go in on easy. Because I can, really. At a certain tavern in Dimension BETXO40C, you see that? The hero just got gaveled up by the darkness. Nah, if that idiot had moved diagonally, their escaping would have been a piece of cake. Diagonally? Yeah, if you move while pressing control, you'll only move diagonally. A trick worth remembering. That's a pretty good tip. Hey, isn't the darkness getting a little too close? And then they both died. So that's the thing. Diagonal movement. Pretty neat. Okay, so the first time you play the game, you don't get this little bit. Instead, the king, who is hitting, hiding behind my text box, uh, introduces himself, says, Hey, glad you're here. As you know, the demon lord unleashed darkness all over places in the multiverse. Uh, and it is at our gates right now. In fact, that's that glowing purple-black stuff right there. And, uh, it'll consume everything I'm getting out of here. Defeat the Demon Lord. Thanks. Bye. However, that only plays the first time. Because, every time after that, you get this. Somehow my body, which should have been defeated by the imp, is returned to me in one piece, because I got utterly wrecked by an imp carrying a large rock. Actually, maybe it isn't in One Piece. My memories of my old body are already fading. And that's all I have to say about that. Also, I just noticed that in this case, it is Naughty King Victor. I... I don't, I don't think that descriptor was there before. It isn't much, but here's some items. There's a potted herb. Grows a healing herb once every 12 hours, in-game hours. Treat it with care. I know it'll be a tough journey, but we leave the destruction of the Demon Lord up to you. Oh, I know you'll like the, uh, the herb. We, we all know that you like the herb. I will be leaving the castle behind as well. I hope we are able to meet once more. Now it is time to depart. I pray for your success. And we have a fairy, whose name is Iris, who tells us how to do things. Use the arrow keys to move, press Z to talk, keep going right. And we can bring up a menu with the X key, and you get various things. In this case, a, an awakening, I guess, spell. You can stop time for three turns, which is technically moves, or, you know, times that you move around or attack. The game is on sale all through the month, as far as I'm aware. And even when it's not on sale, it's only like... a little over a dollar, I think. Might be two dollars. But it's currently 87 cents, which is really cool. So you get five uses of this per adventure. There's 
Great Wall, which is for... Which I think this one is just for uh, the Knight class. I'm not sure. I've not actually used the other class yet. Reduces stamina in return for reducing physical damage and healing wounds. But any movement cancels the effect, and you can only use it once a day. And then we can speak to our neat little fairy person. Yay! Nice to meet you! My name is Iris! Hi, Iris. I am an artificial fairy created by King Victor. I am actually curious as to how, one, you know you're an artificial fairy, and two, how an artificial fairy is created, and three, how, a, how an artificial fairy differs from actual fairies. Lots of words. <laughs> You'll make a knight and get all strength for, for brawler class. I, I think that's technically a thing, actually, I'm not sure. Fuck fairies, fuck you! Excuse you, fairies are the best. Or something, I don't know what I'm saying. Th this fairy is pretty cool, though. There aren't bound to be many fairies around here, so you can just call me fairy if you want. What do you mean, don't, not literally? Why not literally? Oh, and I'm in the, w the one in charge of helping you in this journey, so anything I can help you with, and you can... You can talk about various things. For instance, this is a mountainous terrain that we have spawned in. Mountainous terrain? Hmm, well obviously there are a lot of mountains, so watching the map and making sure you don't get trapped is important. Also, Nyuta fruits are very common around mountains, so make sure to stock up. Oh, I almost forgot, you will probably fight harpies in these areas. Most enemies are just the normal animal type, however. And we can keep talking to her. What happens if I run out of energy? Because you'll notice um, that there's an energy meter underneath the stamina bar. So what happens if I run out of energy? If your energy hits 0%, then it's game over! Not! <laughs> I got you good! Um, so when your energy hits 0%, your stamina stops recovering. I'm telling the truth this time, I promise! Uh-huh, sure. Stamina covers faster the higher your energy is, so keep it above 50%. And when your energy hits zero, then your life doesn't go back up as much. It's reduced, and your attack power and your agility are reduced. So basically, if your energy gets low, your life might as well be low, really. Let's see. What else do we want to ask her? Hey, how about some tips, actually? When you're in a pinch, use awakenings. Yeah, that's that's what they said at the end of my previous adventures. It stops time for everyone but you for three full turns. Which is pretty neat. What's the clock? A worm clock. Basically for when the Demon Lord shows up. In this case, it's based on distance that you travel but in the next difficulty up, it'll be based on something random. So, it's something that you keep an eye on. Let's see, I think those... Oh, I could ask for advice, that's pretty handy. If you hold down control, you can move diagonally. Cool. You know, you've answered a lot of questions for me. Do you have a question? Wait, wait. No, I can probably guess what it is. Probably, why are you asking me questions when you could be escaping the darkness? I is that it? Uh, a question? Wait, why would I ask you questions? I'm the one who's supposed to be answering the questions, not giving them. Hmm, well, I guess I'll think on it at least. But it seems strange. Hmm. So the king has left, and you notice every time that we move, the screen scrolls a little bit. Let's talk to this guy. You can open treasure checks and bo chests and boxes with the lock picking skill. If you don't have it, you can still break through them through brute force. For instance, I think this is one. Oh, nice. We got stuff for it. What sort of stuff did we get? 
another vial of hearing, and a not healing, and a Nayuta fruit. Restores energy by 70%. That's pretty neat. What do you have to say? I am Judge Charisma. Oh, it looks like you have a Charisma level of 1. So you aren't completely untrustworthy. There's at least a few people who might join your struggle. We're already on the brink of destruction. Leave the castle and head right. The battle with the Demon Lord will be a drawn-out fight. But even a pinprick draws blood. Keep at it and the Demon Lord will succumb. We're gonna stay here and share our fate with the castle. Finish the fight for us. Gah! Gotta run! Oh, hello. Oh, okay, so... The last run I did, I unlocked the Dimensional Vault. Which you do with various when you... Uh, basically, when you lose, you know, when you finally die, or I guess succeed, you are an, you're given a certain amount of points based on how you did, and you can unlock stuff with those points. So I spent five points after my two runs, because that was about all I had after those, to unlock one slot in the Dimensional Vault, which basically at the end of a run you can put items into that to get later in different runs. Allows you to share items across the realms of time and space. You can store newly acquired items at the end of a game playthrough. Ah. That's neat. Ah, I see. Cool. You're leaving me behind as well, aren't you? There's no way I can outrun the coming darkness. So, I'll tell you about the upcoming area. We get some areas revealed, minimap updated. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Do your best. Madam. You know, I, I could go on, but there's something I want to do instead. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'd like to speak with you again. The midnight black curtain pressing against your back finally gets the best of you and swallows you whole. Almost immediately, you are crushed by intense pressure and sent flying into the air. From above, you can see the darkness assailing the land. From this new vantage point, you are able to spot something amongst the endless dark fog. A dragon larger than any mountain in the land is coiled up within the deadly fog. Oh, so that is what has been consuming our world. As you come to this realization, something solid slams into your body and ends your musings forever. So, I did that one on purpose because if you didn't notice, there was an achievement there. Also, I wanted to see what happens. And at the end of an adventure, you get raided for stuff and get advice, which is pretty neat. Dying right at the start of an adventure is a key part of the one-way her heroics ex experience, so don't let it bother to you too much. Alright, well settle down and get ready for advice time. It doesn't look like you used your awakening ability this playthrough. You know, every single time I've died, you say that. It's possibly because I've never used the awakening ability. Perhaps I should do that. Alright, next. On the next screen, you can expand your dimensional vault for the ability to carry items over to your next playthrough. Early on, it doesn't even cost many points to expand it. Even adding, just adding one weapon or item at a time can make the next adventure go a lot smoother. Give it a try. I don't have any items to put in there, really. Except a fruit. And I don't care about a fruit. Well, that should be enough for today. Well, just keep on up the adventuring when you can. See you soon! And you get rating for stuff. For instance, we got level D for level, distance, battle grade, and treasure pickup. Technically, my treasure pickup should be higher. Really. Because I got 100% of the things that I came across. Oh well. We get heroics level 1.3, which I've gotten far more than that. 
and you get various things for how far you've gotten. You know, based on what you have. Get one more hero points. And you can open the advice. And from various from a certain, you know, whoever they'll talk about whatever. <laughs> the darkness buttered your bread pretty early on, huh? I'm sure you didn't expect to die so early. Here's some advice from an elder. Left is bad, right is good. Easy enough? Yeah, fuck you, guy. Are you running from all your battles? If you run into an enemy, press shift, face their direction, then press confirm to attack. Okay. I didn't actually know that one. <laughs> if you run in, ran into a tough enemy right from the start, well, that sucks for you. You didn't even get past Heroics level 1. You must have gotten demolished right at the beginning of the adventure. I hoped you remembered to head to the right when the game started. I know it's tough at the start, but we're all rooting for you. Good luck, Fire. <laughs> and you can see you can put stuff into there. There's not really a point to it, so I won't do so. And you can post to Twitter. I'm not going to do that, because that seems dumb. I'm going to go back to the title, and yeah, it keeps all of our perks. Let's see. Is this the new one that I was in? Let's see. At the house of the explosive stealer, Luger, in Dimension VETX0. 040C. Listen up, Susha. Make sure you don't take any fire attacks while holding those bombs. Why not? Come on, even a dunce could figure this one out. It could light the fuse on accident and go boom in your face. So if I carry a bunch, I guess it'll go boom, boom, kabloom! Yeah, now that you mention it, there was one hero who had the bombs in his hand misfire from the fuse of the one he threw. That was a pretty messy fireworks show. Somehow my body, which should have been swallowed by the darkness, has returned to me in one piece. Actually, maybe not. My memories in my old body are already fading. And that's all I have to say on that's about that. Oh no, King Victor's now a masochist. Oh dear. It isn't much, but here's some items: potted herb. Healing herb once every 12 hours. Smoke it whenever, I guess. And you get to defeat the Demon Lord because only we can, because nobody else wants to. He vanishes. Give me the item. There's... What do you have? Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I'm just gonna head straight out. Oh, no, 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 no. Talk to me. There we go. Run! Hey. Hello. Did I... Did I find an inn or something? I am a renowned merchant! Oh my gosh! I can actually buy stuff! Healing herb, stamina herb. Okay, a healing herb restores 40 life and restores energy by 10%. Area map. Neat. Shield repair kit. There's a lot included, so it weighs quite a lot. I don't think I've ever had a shield break, because I've not gotten far enough to do so. So I don't think it's worth it. Plus, I can't afford it. Nayuta fruit. Those are apparently common here. So I think I'm good. Even with people who seem carefree, look deep into their hearts, and you will realize how sad they really are. Oh, I see. 
Just try and hurt one of the villagers. We'll make sure you regret it. Otherwise, you can consider us good friends. Please rest and relax. S Sir, I, I, I want to tell you this one thing. Resting and relaxing is not a thing that will be happening here. You're about to get consumed by the darkness. Oh, it's a sensible old lady again. Oh, neat. Madam. Eagle Eye Chef. Oh, nice. Healthy meal. Hearty meal. Bread crusts. Well, we do need 10% of our energy. Huh, bread crusts? Well, if that's all you want, consider it on the house. Delicious! Mmm, delicious breadcrumbs. Er, crusts. Same thing, really. It's crumbs at this point. Oh, oh. Well, sure, I will start making some bread crusts then. <laughs> Don't forget, we have takeout lunches as well. Not like you could afford it. Rude. You. Hello, would you like to record your progress, or do you have something else in mind? Something else? Huh. I will not forget you. Record your memories within my mind. Oh, hey! Yeah, sure. I'll save. Cool. Goodbye, traveler. No, no, no. I... What are save crystals? 950 silvers for three save crystals. The game will resume from the next enemy turn. I need to get out of here. Run! Okay. Okay. So far, no enemies that I can see. And as long as I don't move, it seems like things don't happen. So that's cool. I'm not actually sure what I'm going through here for. I thought I had something to do in there. And I don't. The mini-map is kind of... tiny. Kind of hard to see what's going on. But if I'm reading this right, I need to go... down. So as I'm not trapped by mountains. Oh hey, there's stuff over there. Oh hey, it's night. Camping out! Oh hey! Excuse me. Die. You. Hey, hero dude! Grab these items from the box, we're all depending on you! Really? Healing herb. What do we get? Oh, nice. Okay. A light shield. We currently have a leather shield. Weight 2, armor 4 plus 20%. Here day. Light shield, quality unknown. They're the same weight. Uh, if I had to guess, though, I'd say the leather shield is probably better than the light shield. 294 silver? I'll take that, though. And I suppose I can pick that up just on the off chance. Do you have anything else to say? No. Loot. A Nyuta fruit. Turn! Okay. So apparently I can... Okay, I see. Holding shift lets me... determine... where I want to look. Within my turn, rather than spending a turn... turning. If that makes any sense. If you hold control, then you can move only diagonally. Hello, Bat. Okay, so just pressing control, or just pressing shift, turns you automatically toward the enemy. Nice! 
Okay, I'll definitely have to keep that in mind. Okay, there's water, which you can apparently swim through, but I don't have anything to teach me how to do so, so I'm not going to. I think down is the direction to go here, and then through here. Okay. It's been day and 12 hours. Really? I thought it was longer than that in the game. Because I'm pretty sure this is the furthest I've actually gotten. Um, 40 life restores on them. Can I? I can harvest it. What happens then? Unright. Picking up a new pot will not speed up the process. Okay, so within the next 12 game hours, this will come back. Okay. And these will restore energy by 70, so when energy gets low, lower than it currently is, it seems to drop like once every five turns or something. Something like that. Hey! Building! Guard! Please make yourself at home. Give me my loot. I'd love to enter there, but I'd have to go all the way around, and I don't feel like doing that, really. That's a that's a one-way trip to getting destroyed by darkness. I would have to go all the way around. I don't like how the mountains are in this mini-map. Oh, hello. What? Please make yourself at home. Don't hurt the villagers. Cool. Which is a thing you can do, actually. You can actually, you know, attack and probably kill villagers. I don't know why you'd want to, but it's apparently a thing. Medicine. Do you need medicine? Red Riding Hood? Do I need to be on the lookout for wolves? Oh, neat. So I can buy items. Vile of stamina. Extract from stamina herbs fully restores... Vial of Healing restores life by a hundred for only 237 silvers. I think I'll actually buy one of those. Yes. Cheap save attendant. Excuse me. Hello, would you like to record your progress? Save game. I will not forget you. Record your memories within my mind! Oh, oh, shit. I wonder if that got picked up on the stream. Nice! That's just a, a thing you can do. Save with a memo. Oh, nice! Uh, that's neat. I, I don't actually want to, but that's neat. Cool. Goodbye, traveler. Armor dealer. Whistles, I love armor! Oh, nice. And I can buy shit. Clothes. This is worse than what I currently have, I know. Because the knight's coat says that it's better than normal traveler's clothes. Heavy armor. Weight of five. Can't afford it. Of course I can't. Leather armor. Weight of three. A tough coat favored by most knights. A little better than normal traveler's clothes. Other armor on no. What's the training bracelet to? Equipping this bracelet will lower your overall attributes, but increase. Oh, hey! It's basically a. Uh, ah, heck. What's the name of it? The thing you used for, like, EV training one of the items you use for EV training in Pokemon. Created by a force user a little too focused on becoming stronger. That's cool. Can't afford you. So...
I'm gonna buy the leather armor. Okay. This is equipped. Same thing, really. What? Um... Did I just sell these? Because I didn't want to do that. I thought I was just equipping them. Okay. Night coat, leather armor. Now we're going to see. Well, first we need to equip that. Leather armor. Okay. Current armor is armor 3, reduction by 6. This is unknown still. I guess we'll find out. For now, merchant. Scroll of analysis. 475 silvers? Why on earth would I buy that? Unveil the details of un all unclassified items in your possession. No. A chef. We'll get some bread crusts. Delicious! Weapon dealer. Oh, nice. Ah, everything's so expensive. Hey look, arrows! Don't have a bow. Also, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like you buy them separately. But at least they're fairly cheap. A sword. Quality unknown. It looks almost exactly like our long sword, so I think it's probably worse than that. Battle axe. I wish I had this because it's apparently good for opening walls and chests and stuff, but I don't have 1140 silvers, no. If you see a merchant in red clothes, he is a weapons merchant. Try to remember that. Thanks. How about you two? This area will continue for another 6 kilometers. And the next area stretches for 70. Make sure you're prepared. Thanks, actually. You must be the hero everyone's talking about! Please, take this! Oh, man! What'd we get? Some silver and a naiuta fruit. We. Cool. Oh, hello, bats. Yeah! Potted herb is finally grown, and we've just arrived in some places. I'm going to let's see. My life is up. Effective power, 40 life, 10 energy. We're gonna harvest the herb, and we're going to eat a Nayuta fruit to get our energy back. It's apparently very tasty. And you can actually see the expanded log of everything everyone says, which is neat for the entire game. So that's cool. And it doesn't even use a turn. Of course. All right. Let's see. There's no huge mountains in the way, so that's good. So we're just gonna head off this way. Hello, sword. A rapier. Weight two, attack four. Not very durable. Designed to hit target vital spots. Critical hit chance plus twenty. Hmm. That's only an attack of four. It does have a weight of two, though. Hmm. 
Hmm. I guess we'll take it to sell it? Because we might as well. A Nyuta fruit? Alright. Looks like a fairly large open space. But there's stuff here. Are these walls? These are walls. Okay. Achievement unlocked! We got to day three, guys! We got to day three! License on life! Need to go up. This looks like a building up ahead here. Either that or a fairly rectangular chunk of mountain. This is a building. Oh, crud. A dried herb. Level 2! Intellect level increased by 1. I'm actually surprised it took this long to get to level 2. Got some silver. What is in here? I'd like to get that. Oh! Imp! Imp! You fucker! Fuck off! Uh oh, I hope I can get out of here. Level 3. Uh... Shit! Get me out of here! Uh-oh! I'm fucked! I'm fucked, guys! I'm dead! I couldn't make it out! The midnight black curtain pressing against your back finally gets the best of you and swallows you whole. Almost immediately, you are crushed by intense pressure sent flying. From above, you can see the darkness. There's a dragon. It's consuming the world. But we will never remember, because we are dead. And it is such a tragedy. Yep, that was a pretty solid run. Just keep up the space and you will save the world in no time! Thanks, th thanks for the vote of confidence, Iris. Because I think that was a fairly pathetic way to die. <laughs> Slashing at a gate, trying to get out. I know I goofed, but it was a building. There could have been stuff. I, I couldn't pass up the ability of stuff. Time for advice time. Yeah! Ah, oh, shit! Why didn't I use the Awakening ability? I had it! I keep talking about it! Every time they mention it, and I'm just like, yeah, I should keep using- I should use this, because they keep talking about it, and then I always forget to fucking use it! I could have broken through the gate with that! I could have broken through the wall with that! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Well, that should be enough for today. Rapier? Question mark. Was revealed to be a rapier! Really? I, uh... I, I would never have guessed, really. A rapier is a rapier? What a shocking development! Leather armor, question marks. Was revealed to be a leather vest. Which is probably not as good as the knight's armor. Cool. Oh, wow. So we just got 20 hero points for that run. A new record for the knight class has been added. Overall heroics level from 4.6 to 20.2. Yes! Alright. Let's see what we get in advice corner. So, you only made it to level 3. Well, experience levels don't really get you as far as patience and proper judgment. Yeah. Gee, you don't say. Distance. So, this time you made it 86 kilometers. I guess you have some talent. Even experienced adventures catch bad luck and meet their ends around this mark. So, good luck. Try to make it further. Battle rank C. This is normal. Treasure pickup. About normal. I need to get the unlock skill. 
quickly so that I am not just slashing at chests. There were 13 chests that I apparently could have gotten, or maybe in total in that seed, I'm not sure. But I got three out of it. You made it to Heroics level 20. Soon we will be able to remove that newbie tag Iris pasted to your back. Hey! How could you do such a thing to me? You even made it this far without antagonizing any of this world's citizens. Great! Yeah, why, uh... Why would I antagonize them? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something that you can do to piss them off accidentally? I don't know. You didn't manage to defeat the Demon Lord because I didn't get anywhere near the Demon Lord and would have gotten destroyed anyway. Keep adventuring, we're rooting for you. You know what, thanks. Open the Dimensional Vault. And here we can see that the Leather Vest is Armor Level 4, Damage Reduction 8. So it's actually a little bit better than the Knight's Coat but not by much. In fact, I'd probably keep the knight's coat, really. And the rapier is a rapier. Derp. Leather shield. Okay. I'm not going to put anything in there. I can use my hero points, I think. I'm going to expand the dimensional vault. I don't put anything in it, so I don't need it. Let's see. Swim coach, swimming level 1. Master of unlocking to get lockpicking level 1. Pro wrestler. Increased bare fist damage. There's what you need, Meiji. Loyal pet. You can get a pet partner. That's a lot of, that's a lot of hero points. Let's see. No, I was just there. New class? Ah! If I get seven more points, then I can unlock the Hunter class. Or, if I manage to find a bow and defeat at least one enemy with it, I can unlock it. The Pirate, if you discover the Dark Brotherhood. Adventurer, if you open an extravagant chest. Force User! If you defeat an enemy using force powers, which I'm not exactly certain how you get, really. Recruit a party member with the bard, or to get the bard, which is actually not possible on the easy difficulty. I can't really do anything with these, so I'm just going to keep them, and we'll go do that again. Actually, wait. Yeah, I can go back to where I was. Maybe I won't fuck up this time.